Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. If this is your first time here or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If that is something you are interested in, please visit for more. If you are only interested in review videos, there will be links in the description box below. Today, I'll be unboxing and reviewing Manfrotto Element Traveler's Tripod, which I have right here. And uh, this is a small tri tripod and this is travel friendly. So the purpose uh, of buying this tripod is so I can take it to, you know, wherever I go. And Manfrotto is a very famous brand for making tripods. So the tripod is, uh, there are some specs on the box. So we'll take a look at it. Due to a small space, I cannot, you know, uh, put this box uh, upward way. So I'm gonna have to just you know keep it flat uh, this way and once I open the tripod then I'll do some review outside so you can see you know how it looks when it's unfolded and you know if it's uh, easy to use and or user friendly so let's go over some of the specs which are on the box so this is center ball head tripod and there's a you know twist leg lock so these are like you know twist open not flip lock I had a flip lock tripod in the past but uh, what happens they start giving problem after a few times and they get like you know, loose so the twist leg lock should solve that problem and then here we have a telescopic center column so you can like you know adjust your tripod uh, and it gives more length or you can make it shorten and it's easy to like you know pack it because it makes it look uh, makes it smaller and here's some of the specs, uh, which is the tripod is 56.3 inches or 143 centimeter long. And when it's short, then it's only 12 and a half inch and 32 centimeters. So you can see that this is really short, uh, which is travel friendly. And in terms of weight, it's 1.2 kg or 2.65 pound, which is also very, uh, you know, small lightweight. So it's uh, very travel friendly. And it can hold up to 4 kg and 8.8 .8 pound weight so it's uh, you know it should uh, be okay for mirrorless cameras or even some kind of big cameras as, as long as they're below this uh, width uh, range and that tripod comes in uh, gray black blue and red color so this color I have here is red and just to uh, let you know that this is not an affiliated or paid review. All my reviews are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. There are no affiliated links, no nothing. I purchased this with my own money. So I'm going to start unboxing the tripod and then we'll take a look at you know, what's inside. So the first thing I'm noticing that you know they provided a very nice carry-on bag. And it looks in you know, a very good quality. And there's even, you know, a uh, handle. And let's uh, remove the tripod from here so we'll just take it out from this part and this comes out and inside the bag they provided some accessories which would be handy when you set it up outdoors so that, that's a good touch I remember I, I didn't have these with my older tripod and I'll just put it here so the first thing I'm looking at, uh, what I'm noticing is that, you know, this is a very nice looking tripod and you can tell right away that uh, this is not cheap. Uh, it is uh, a high-end quality tripod. Uh, it, it's very, uh, you know, small, so you can easily put it in your backpack or uh, on the side pocket of your backpack and it really feels like a sturdy. So the next part, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just unfold it and set it up and it will be done outdoors and then I'll attach that part with this video and I'll provide uh, my opinions whether, you know, I like it or not or how easy to handle or if, it's, if this is, you know, uh, user friendly or the ease of use is okay. Hello everyone, we are doing the second part of the video. So I have the Manfrotto travel element and I'm going to open it and set it up for the first time and see how comfortable it is to use or ease of use and uh, if it's user friendly and you can you know assemble it and disassemble quickly so let's just start so I haven't used this cam uh, tripod before with my uh, 
camera or anything so I'm just going to take it out so they touch this uh, leg attachment so which basically you can use this to attach it here uh, you can remove these the three sections or tips and you can put this with this but I'm not exactly sure I'm going to, going to be using this so I'll just you know leave it here so here we, we have the tripod uh, what you can notice is that you know it's very small and traveler friendly and I mentioned before that you know you can tell the quality right away so I'm going to just show you one uh, position which you can use to put your camera before even I unfold the tripod all the way so basically in this way if you want to put your camera close to the ground then you can just you know use this uh, let's say you have it set up this way and you have your camera right here so that's, that's another very good position if you're you know if you'd like to use something close to the ground but I'm not going to show show it all the way but this is something you know you can set up uh, so right now I'm just going to set up the full tripod first so we're going to unfold these legs and if you take a look here there's a clip which you know you can hold and then it makes you know the leg move and then if you unhold it or if you let it go then it just gets fixed at the position so we're just going to you know open the twist lock legs and set it up so the thing with twist lock is that they take a little bit time but they're more durable and sturdy when you disassemble them or you know set up the tripod and also uh, the twist lock lasts longer than flip lock I had another tripod which was flip lock and they kind of like you know gets loose after a few years okay so you can adjust the position and looks like I have one leg which I didn't open it all the way so let me just tighten up here okay so here you can actually uh, make it longer because there's a telescopic pole right here which you can use to control the length and you can even you know put it on higher position so I set it up in the you know straight position so sometimes you have to just you know keep an eye that whether it's straight or not and then you can use the uh, ball head there's a labeling right here so you can use this part to show uh, to see like you know if your uh, what's your leveling for example right now you can see that this is straight and you can adjust it so now I'm going to just take out the plate and put my uh, camera on put it back this way and then you can tighten it up so it's not too tight but it's okay I didn't you know tighten up all the way and if you want you can just keep the plate attached to your camera all the time to you know move the camera so it's easier because you don't have to uh, put it back and forth so that's one way you can do it but I'm going to just you know remove it from here and I'll just you know Put it back and you can control the positioning of your camera by losing the ball head control which is right here and then here you can actually tighten up this uh, round wheel right here so if you want you can just like you know make it loose or tight but right now it looks like I tighten up too much so it's kind of very tight but you can see that it's moving and you can you know move your camera this way too and you can see the angles right there okay so we'll just you know tighten up here 
And the other thing I can show you that, you know, if you want to control the how wide your legs are open or how wide the tripod is open or how, you know, close, then you have to just uh, hold this here, press it, and then you can just, you know, control it this way. So you can see that, you know, the leg is uh, going bigger or wider. And then if you want to make it narrow, then you can just, like, you know, put it close and then you can just let it go and that kind of locks it in its position and uh, the telescopic uh, control is uh, right here so you can just you know adjust the length of the camera or the tripod so if you need higher length then you can put it here but if you need lower length then you can just you know uh, put it back or you can even keep it in the middle position and uh, that's all the basics about this tripod and here you can see that there is a hook and you can actually put weight on it uh, this is to control the tripod even to make it steadier so you can put like you know weight or something or even I wouldn't mind it putting a bag or anything I don't want to carry with me when I'm shooting so that's something very useful and uh, basically that's all the basics of the tripod so it was not difficult to set up not difficult to operate very user friendly and uh, you know I'm happy with the product so definitely you can feel the uh, quality and the sturdiness of the product so it looks like it's going to last for a long time so thank you for watching uh, there'll be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you